You might probably know about this thing named as play integrity. If you are into custom rooms from a long time and you know that play integrity always gives you some issues if your device is rooted of course there are some fixes available which I usually share with you on my channel so let's have a quick look at the new thing which I'll tell you in this video and that is related to play protect certification. Previous video in my previous video I told you that how you can pass strong integrity in Android of course that is a temporary solution so that nothing is permanent so right now what we have is we have some integrity issues again right now while making this video but the thing is you can still fix it not strong integrity but basic and device both can be possible right now and alongside with that google play protect certification also brings you the play store i mean play store that device is certified that thing is also possible in this case, I am going to use kernel SU and you have to deselect the option named as U-mount modules which is enabled by default. So make sure that is disabled. Now let's install these modules one by one. If you have already installed them, then you just have to install the last module. And if you did not, if you are doing clean installation first time, then follow all the steps carefully. First of all, install Jigisk Next. Although even if you use Magisk, you can still use Jigisk Next. Simply disable the inbuilt Jigisk from Magisk settings and you're good to go. Then you can install this play integrity fix and the third module you need is tricky store. All these modules are compulsory by the way. So make sure to install them manually one by one. Then you might not face any issues at all. After doing all these things, we have to install one last module, which is one of the main modules right now named as integrity box. And this is the latest version right now while making this video. This brings you some extra options. So that is why it's necessary. We just installed it right now and as you can see it will take some time, some seconds to install and after that you just have to reboot your device and done. As you can see it's done so yes you just need to reboot your device and let's just talk about some other things which you will see after installing this thing or let's see if it is working fine or not. After installing this module let's quickly take a look at this play integrity API checker. Click on check right now and if I show if I click this. As you can see meets basic meets device so yes it's almost fixed strong integrity sometimes it might work sometimes it might not although the reality is strong integrity is not needed in 99 percent of the cases the main thing is basic and device and both of these things are working fine now here comes the main thing if you go to about option as you can see device is not certified and that is a very common error in my previous video where i told you about the strong integrity the issue was the play protect certification device was just not being certified even if you click here in some previous days ago it was able to it was quite easy to pass this it was quite easy to make it certified but now it's not that easy so now what we have to do is open kernel su or if you're using magis simply open integrity box we have two options available i'll choose the second one which brings me web ui so we have this UI available. Simply turn it on and now we have a lot of options available in this case. Now what we have to do is we have to find the option named as fix device not certified. As you can see this is what we have. Just one click and done. This is it. Nothing. You do not have to do anything else. It's simply fixed. After clicking this, click on confirm, go back. Now if you open play store you will notice that it will give you this kind of thing which is a new option so you can say now the play store data is already clean it is now fresh install kind of thing after putting up your password and so on now let's open play store and move on to settings about as you can see device is certified so yes it's quite easy to fix although this is how you can do this and of course everything have some advantages and disadvantages many users are facing issues regarding the device was not being certified after trying a lot of things even in my previous video where i told you about the strong integrity there were some issues with that but now right now while making this video the method is working perfectly fine if you are into custom room community from a long time or a routing community from a long time you must remember one thing that everything is temporary nothing is permanent but the good thing is it's actually exciting to find out new solutions and many many more things so yes, these were things just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this thing. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Many custom room videos, tweaks, mods, and many more things are coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.